that Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem now, which we see, was occupied by other forces, other forces, non-Muslim forces from Muslim. So it's not that we are experiencing, that we are, ham paida hoye ji masjid aqsa ye to gair muslimon ke qabze mein hai. To aap ki zindagi mein, aap 22 saal ki umar thi, to aap ki zindagi mein ye waqia hua ke masjid aqsa ye isaiyon ke qabze mein chale, unho ne chheel li. Tab sochna chahi ya hum se jyada to aap ko fikr thi ya humain jyada fikr hai masjid aqsa ki. So what did he do? What does that mean? He did what he did. This means that Islam was weak, meaning politically at that time. So what did he do? Like our people do, our youngsters these days, they pick up the guns and say we are going to liberate or, or actually adopt the way of killing people, terrorism and other things. Whilst he was young as well. 22 years of age. What did he do in his front of his eye? He knew at that time Islam was still in a very strong position than now politically even. The, the caliphate was in Baghdad and Muslims were united. Khilafat to thi, like many people today, they're always talking about Khilafa, Khilafa. Well, Khilafa was there and Masjid al-Aqsa was taken. Then the so solution is not a Khilafa. Solution is something else. That is also part of the solution, but not as a whole, like some people think, if we get government, if we have power, this will, power is not actually solution for poor problems. Their power can be one of the mediums for that, supporters and one of the elements. So I'm giving you an example, in the time, in the lifetime of Hazur Ghoseh Pak Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani, there, Christian armies come and they take over Masjid al-Aqsa. And he did not say, to be, let's go and actually fight there, let's go. Or he even didn't himself go as such. What did he do? What do we see in his life? He knew he was more worried than any of us. He had more love of Masjid al-Aqsa and actually the sacred precincts there. And he knew more about them. It was more closer to him. Iraq is not far from, actually, the, the Syria at that time, Masjid al-Aqsa or Jerusalem or Palestine. So, one thing we have to get from their lives is that when you were 22 years old, then you came to Baghdad to achieve knowledge in Baghdad. In those days, the Jews of Masjid al-Aqsa had been destroyed by Muslims. So, what did you do today? تو آپ نے کیا کیا جو آج یہ جماعتیں کر رہی ہیں دہشت گرد اور یہ کبھی ادھر بم مارے کبھی یہ کیا کبھی نوجوانوں کو بٹکا کے کافروں کو غیر مسلموں کو امن سے رہتے ہوئے لوگوں کو مار رہے ہیں کبھی کچھ کیا آپ نے یہ کیا he did this kind of activity so we have a model in his life what to do when Islam has weakened the Muslims has weakened, the, masjid, the sacred places are being overtaken by none. What should we do? What did he do? He made a plan. He made a plan. And what was that plan? He made a plan that firstly, if my heart, my Masjid al-Aqsa, Masjid al-Aqsa is like your heart, if that is taken by bad habits, devils and shaitan and sins, what I'm talking about, the Masjid al-Aqsa outside in, on the face of the earth. If I don't implement khilafa on my body, mind, heart and soul, what type of khilafa I'm talking about? It is sheer hypocrisy. It is clear hypocrisy. It is a very big कि आपने घर में तो ढोल डमके और गुलशन ले और दूसरों के घर में क्या ना कि ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए तो उन्होंने ये सोचा कि जब मुझे ही अल्लाह का कुर्ब हासिल नहीं इतना जब मेरा दिल मस्जिद अक्सा ये इसमें 
وہ درجہ ابھی حاصل نہیں ہوا یا میں نے اپنی ذات پر اپنے نفس کے خلاف ابھی جہاد نہیں کیا تو میں عیسائیوں کے خلاف کیوں جہاد کروں اچھا سو ہی ڈن ڈائریکٹلی انسپائر پیپل اور اینی تھنگ ہی گٹ آن ود ہز اون ایکچولی مشن وٹ واز دیٹ ہی اسٹڈی فرسٹلی سو دوز یگسٹر دوز پیپل ہو آر ناؤ youngsters from you who are worried about islam muslim what's happening around the world or there is chaos there is this there is that etc etc muslim in syria in iraq in burma what should they do the example is in black and white in front of you you should do same as what sayyid abdul qadir jilani rahimahullah did what did he do he got on with him that to attain firstly the necessary knowledge and much more تو آپ کو بھی چاہیے پہلے علم حاصل کریں پتہ استنجا کرنے کا نہیں اور فتح مسجد اقسا کرنے بندہ چلے تو وہ کیا کرے گا وہ فتح کر کے بھی کیا کرے گا وہ وٹ فیل ہی ڈو آفٹر ایون ایکچولی ڈوئنگ دیٹ کوزنگ دس وائی وین آئی وینٹ دیر آئی سیٹ ٹو دی امام امام سیٹ پرے فار می آئی سیٹ دیٹ دس مسجد ان مائی اوپینین فرام ون ڈائمینشن is more independent than many other mosques. He said, how? I said, look here, every kind of Muslim comes from Ahl Sunnah, Salafis come, Wahhabis come, Shia come, Ahl Sunnah come, all kinds of Muslims come they here. And they do worship according to their own madhab. They do melad. They do Salatu Salaam, they do Milad Sharif, they do Gyarmi Sharif, they do Dhikr. No one stops them. And as soon as it comes under one school of thought, which you're saying, Masjid Daksa, Zad ho jay, Zad ho jay, Aap ko samaj aajay ga, Aap ka daakhla phir band ho jay ga. Abhi band nahi hai. Abhi to Yehudi ho, Aap ja sakte hai. Woh kahenge, Aap dekhe, Makkah Madinah ja ke, وہاں آپ کیا کر سکتے ہیں کوئی آپ پروگرام اف یو وانٹ ڈو اے پروگرام اف یو وانٹ ڈو اے کانفرنس اف یو وانٹ ڈو دکر اف یو وانٹ ڈو فار ایگزامپل پریز اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ اور سینڈ سیلوٹیشن ہاؤ مینی ریسٹرکشن دیر آر سو وٹ ڈی ڈو ہی فرسٹلی ٹین نالج سو آئی ووڈ ایڈوائز یگسٹرز دیٹ فرسٹلی ٹو بی اسٹرانگ ان نالج اینڈ وزڈم ان دا ماڈرن ورلڈ ورلڈ ان نالج ایز ویل ایز religious knowledge second thing he did occupy himself with himself for 16 17 years that he implementing that knowledge purification so he did purification of the body which i'm going to mention purification of the mind purification of the heart purification of the soul enlightenment of the spirit so much so that he met Sayyidina Khidr, he met Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, other Anbiya, and he was enlightened. So firstly, you become enlightened. Your inner self should become enlightened. And then he taught people, he prepared people that you should be good Muslims similar to him. So he prepared them, educated them. So they went into all kinds of scientists. They became... leaders they became political leaders they became all kinds of and it was these people that after his death not even in his lifetime he lived up to 90 years old 91 years old it didn't happen after his passing away it was his students and students of students and muridin and of of imam al ghazali who went actually and liberated master aqsa took 40 50 years salahuddin ayubi he was follower of sayyid abdul qadir jilani his father was direct murid and student of sayyid abdul qadir jilani salahuddin ayubi is a sultan salahuddin ayubi rahimallah ta'ala which we speak about and even the enemies say he was a great person he was visiting the sick when Richard, the king of England and the king of other leader of other army, when he became ill, he himself said that he went to see him that he is sick and provided medicine. Imagine. 
the fighting difference is something else humanity and rights of people are something else and we are not visiting our own brothers and sisters uncles and aunts and relatives who we if we we are not bothered in this we are not helping as if we even we can with medicine and other things the poor and the needy of the world so what do i have with salahu common with salah sultan salahuddin ayubi he is being such with his enemies who are like if they didn't have weaponry horse their horse became wounded he gave the, his horse to them he said we don't fight unfair battles it doesn't suit a muslim to fight even he say there's a direct fight going on with the enemy but he said if the my opponent does not have a horse i would not eat his other food and what to say about all these actually cowards who are exploding bombs actually killing women children innocent people be it from whichever country whichever religion what what they have any relationship they are not following anyone else but shaitan not sultan salahuddin ayubi not sayyid abdul qadir jilani that the character of sultan salahuddin ayubi is in front and then the richard the lion heart was a very brave man he said i cannot fight this man my courage my inner self does not allow to fight such a man who have such high character so he came back and others actually were there to ye hai ke dar if you want to do jihad these are the leaders who did jihad not actually secretly meaning harming people in any way and when you are face to face with shaitan and nafs actually then you do not do so his lifestyle was quite very simple he knowledge wisdom practice attain enlightenment upon until he met the prophet ali sallallahu salam even not in dream but in wakefulness and he prepared people and then those people then actually helped islam and muslims and liberated so sultan salahuddin ayubi 70 80% of that army was sufis suf army of sufia half of them were followers of imam al ghazali half of them or more sayyid abdul qadir jilani rahimahullah taala this is sufism this is the true jihad actually and not actually like how here people or some astray thoughts uh, people are doing rather putting a bad name to themselves and islam and making life difficult because we are to take people to jannah not to kill them throw in them in fire hell fire a muslim have a duty to take people into paradise not to harm them in any way so his life was very clear about that and then the pattern is set for us youngsters what we should do we should be educated we should actually religiously worldly and then get involved engaged in political struggle in financial matters in other fields and then actually once you have power no one will be unjust to you if they are you can actually get justice for yourself and if not then actually everyone will trample you will be just saying to other countries that other people help us help us help us how much will they help so this was one aspect of life of sayyid abdul qadir jani to ye ek hissa tha huzur ko se paak ka ke aaj hamare liye jo sabak hai naujawanon ke liye auraton ke liye sab ke liye ke aap 22 saal ki umar mein aaye walidain ne tarbiyat karke bheji to auraton ko chahiye apne bachchon ki achhi tarbiyat kare aapke zamane mein musalmanon ki halat bahut buri thi masjid e aqsa isaiyon ke paas chali gayi to aapne kya kiya uth ke bandook ko maarna shuru kar diya gair muslim jo वहां रह रहे थे यहूदी या ईसाई नहीं आपने खुद पहले अपना तजकिया किया फिर जो है अपने रूहानी दर्जात आकिब के अल्लाह ने बुलंद किए नफ्स के खिलाफ जिहाद किया उसके बाद फिर लोगों को तैयार किया फिर उन लोगों ने जाके कई चालीस पचास साल बाद जाके इस्लाम को वो दर्जा और मुश्तर अकसाब को भी आजाद कराया और हजरत सुल्तान सलाहुद्दीन यूबी भी इन्हीं के 
پیروکاروں میں تھا ان کے والد ان کے مرید تھے امام غزالی رحمت اللہ علیہ یہ جو دو بزرگ گزرے وہاں تو انہی کے فالور تھے تو یہ طریقہ کار ہے آج بھی آپ یورپ میں رہ رہے ہیں یا کہیں رہ رہے ہیں this is the pathway and this is the way to go this is one lesson which we can learn especially our youth and our youngsters or people who are concerned with Islam, Islam should actually rise.